Alrighty, guys, what's up? Um, this is going to be especially quick because I want a guy to go to work and two, just made, you know, the video before, but it cut it off towards the end. Uh, I took a lot of video and picture with my phone yesterday out at the range uh, and was not paying attention to the storage limit size. So anyway, without further ado, primary arms 1 to 6X with the ACSS reticle. Pick this up because the Bushnell one, the four took a spill. Not sure, I'm, not sure what, what I'm going to do with that. I was able to get it to zero um, yesterday at the range. I had to use pliers to adjust the top turret. Uh, but I might still just send that back. Meanwhile, this became available for a hot second. Um, literally, it was available for a couple hours on their website, and then they sold right out of it. Um, and for a 1 to 6 6 scope, illuminated reticle, bullet drop compensation, and... Uh, Decent glass for 260 bucks. I can perfectly see why. But this is going to be another video. I'm going to do a full review on this later on. I'm going to do a comparison between this and the Bushnell later on. This is just so I can get that reticle up there for you. Now that's a pretty good comparison. Well, that's a pretty good um, you know showing of the reticle right there. I don't think there's as much curiosity behind this reticle as there is with the Bushnell. Um, just because there is literally zero videos of YouTube on that thing. So, or zero videos on YouTube of that thing. So let me put this back to 1x. And then we'll get into it. And this is a second focal plane. The Bushnell was a first. So there you go. There is the reticle. And it's going to stay the same size the whole way through. So that's why I don't think it's as big of a deal. But I just want to get it out there. And I'll put a better video up later on. You know, this is earlier in the day, more people might watch it, just throwing it up there. Alright, so that's the reticle. Obviously, zooming in with the camera, this is not your picture, but I tell you what, that looks pretty clear. Except for maybe the bottom right of that screen, there's just a little haze or glare or something. But I tell you what, as, as you get um, in brighter conditions, that haze and glare actually goes away completely. But there you go. So that's at 1x. All right. It's a pretty good field of view. Um, the scope does not take up a lot of the picture. This is easy to shoot two eyes open. I'm a fan. Uh, let me get you up to 4x real quick. Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. Alrighty. 4x here now. And there it is. So you're not really looking at the difference in the reticle now. You're looking at the clarity. And I'll get you on the hurricane bag for that. So we can see the whole hurricane bags in the picture. There's plenty of area on either side. And it's pretty crisp looking. So let's kick it up to 6x. And there we go. Still pretty crisp. Um, the blur, and this is actually the little bit of blur that there is, is in the camera. Not, there you go. You can see it just focused in real nice. But that's your 6x picture. Then let me illuminate this. I don't know if you heard it, but it's real positive clicks. I like it. This is illumination 5 of 11. Plenty for daylight. Plenty for inside brightness. Um, and max brightness setting is plenty for... Um, it's visible on the brightest day. I went out shooting on the range yesterday. Um, which was Memorial Day, very bright, uh, and this reticle, you can still see this red, the illumination in the bright day. Much better than my Bushnell, gotta say. So there you go, and that's it at 1x. There you go. Uh, and like I said, I can cr I can really crank this up. Now we're at 9. It's probably going to bleed through. Pretty crisp. Lights up everything. You know, I'm a fan. Let's see if I can get... There you go. And then for the hell of it, let's just put it on 11. I mean, that's bright. That is bright. Um, and like I said, outside it works just fine. So guys, that's uh, that's all I'm going to put on for now. Keep it nice and short at five minutes. Um, but I'm a fan. I wasn't sure if I was going to keep this, hence the tape, you know, on the mount. 
but I was able to zero it in real quick. Uh, but I am going to keep it. I'm probably going to send the Bushnell back to customer service, get that fixed 100%. So just in case I want to sell one of these, I don't have to worry about damage or explaining or whatever. It, I'll have two fully functioning scopes, both of which I like. Um, but I'm really surprised of how clear this glass is for 260 bucks at a at a one to six x scope. Outside, um, you know, in low light, like I said down here, I can see some haze, some fog, a little bit at times. Um, it doesn't distort the picture. It doesn't make seeing the reticle any worse. It's barely noticeable, but you kind of notice it, especially looking from this and my Bushnell side to side. However, you put this out in uh, daylight conditions where I'm going to be target shooting most of the time, or 99% of the time, uh, and there is zero glare, there's zero fog, everything is clean and crisp. So I was real happy about that. All right, guys, I'll put a review on, um, I'm going to put a comparison up maybe tonight or tomorrow of this and the Bushnell. Also of these two mounts. This is an American defense mount. The Bushnell's on the Burris pepper mount. All right. See you on the other side.